so hello good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode and today's episode this is what you are going to design yeah eventually this is the raw flyer and then this is a mock-up version of it and don't worry i'm going to share all the mock-ups the resources file and the psd file for you for you to download practice and then share with me and let's discuss it for free so without wasting much time you launch the photoshop like this and this is what comes as your first of uh, first time of launching the photoshop or opening the photoshop and yeah so we are going to press ctrl and to open a new document yes we are going to press ctrl and to open a new document and we are going to use a5 if you want the a5 just go to print yes just go to print and then look for a5 a5 is here and the size is 148 by 210 148 by 210 and then the resolution is 300 and then click on just type the name church flyer all right and then click on create or enter and then your nice interface like this pop up and then all the resources files that i use for the design is here i'm going to share with you for you to practice and use for free so drag this red bag down drag it into photoshop and then is it and wait for it to load guys always wait for it to load okay so it's downloading now hold shift and then close up here a bit like this and then push it at the center and then hold alt and then scale it up yes to cover the entire face and then go and drag the next background which is this where are you this this yes no i think this one rather yes drag it and then release it in photoshop and then hold alt and then scale it up like this nicely press enter and then go and set your blending option for this yes blending option i think we set it to overlay overlay not bad at all overlay not bad at all then the next background again is set which is this drag it into photoshop and release it and then push it up nicely like this and guys it seems awesome press enter and then add layer marks to it click inside the layer max terminal like this and then press b on the keyboard to activate the brush tool if yours is coming this way it means your caps lock is on so put the caps lock off use the brackets open to expand the brush size and then clear the edges here and make it look sharp now let's test a blending option for it and let's see let's see let's see let's see and i think if we don't get anything then we'll come back and pick something like um let's see let's see i think this is not bad at all but let's go through let's go through let's go through let's go through it and definitely we'll get something and i think this is not bad at all oh uh, which one do you think which one do you think i'm quite right now i'm confused i don't even know which one to choose and i think this is okay darker darken is okay so press enter and let me go to this side go to gradient let me add some gradients to it i'll pick gradient go and pick here yeah i'll pick here and then double click this side and change here to color black boom and then i'll add it on top of it let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see this is not bad at all so change it to hard light and then press enter good now the background is set put everything in a group ctrl j and call it bj or background All right, so now our background is set nicely like this. Now the remaining ones are just addition of text, images, and that's all. All right, so now let's deal with the logo. Drag this and then release it. And then hold it and push it up like this. And then center it. Good. Now, pick this side or better so you can press M on the keyboard to pick the re rectangular marking tool and then drag this side yes we just want to cut the 11th hour ctrl j to duplicate that side come and click double click here yes double click there go to color overlay and then set the color to white yes set the color to white and click ok perfect 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 this and this ctrl j and then call it logo all right so it means the church logo is set nicely like that now the remaining ones are addition of text okay so let's add the text click on the type tool and then come and click okay pick the horizontal now hit here 
and then just press enter go to character size and then change here to something like 20 all right 20 is okay now double click inside and then type the test exempted exempted from good then press enter and then let's see let's see let's change here to zero or c let's change the vr ve sorry ve rather to something like zero and c all right so this is awesome press and push it here and then hold alt and then drag it this way and then type the evil all right all right okay so just let's make the test and then ctrl t scale it up from oh no no there must be here there all right all right all right all right then we use a font let's check the font okay so we use a font called antilles yes let me go and show it to you some antilles antilles font and then we need to close up here a bit yes good and then push it at the top this way and now it should come down a bit and that is it then drag it this way and then write the plot yes ctrl t and transform it again and put it beneath it this way use the arrow key and then bring it that way now go to view go to guide and new galley out no 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 okay 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 i think this is even awesome so you can even set here to six and set here to six and then we have this nicely we make sure it doesn't go overboard that's why we are setting our guides yeah we are setting our guide just to keep us in line so control t and then scale it up nicely like this and then we just yeah this is it and the plot we just go inside this drag this here and then push it up this way and then we clip max this to the plot and this is it <laughs> you see how we're able to achieve that awesome flyer yeah so this is it and nicely 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 all this in a group and then call it theme so, all right so theme is set now we have our background we have our logo and we have our theme so just remaining the sort the addition of details to it okay so now the theme is ready now it left with i think the name images and then the details so let me just go and pick them here so i have my name here yeah i have my name and then let me pick with the image as well let me just drag everything and then push it to the side and release it boom nicely Control t and then reduce the size this way and bring it down yeah just bring it down and i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome i'm going to bring the name to this side a bit because the name has gone overboard yeah the name has gone overboard if i say overboard it means maybe we set up a guide for each other and then we are going overboard so we don't want to go overboard that's why i said the name is going overboard yeah the name is going overboard so down this and this becomes your name and image name and uh, image yeah so just adjust it and then make sure it's in line yeah it's in line that is why you brought the guide and then the next thing is that we are going to bring this um, um, message over there the true teaching of yahweh yes i'll just drag it this way and then release it this side and that is also it and i think the the width we use an autograph font yes an autograph and then the name apostle or quajimai we use balega font yes balega and then this the message we use which one 
also Balega font, and that is it. If you don't have it, you can just go to your um, browser and then just type Balega font, and you'll get it over there. And then this is the date. Now bring it over there. We use, I think, um, um, uh, Akira Expanded. Yes, we use Akira Expanded font. And then the next details is the time. Drag it this way and release it this way. Good, so that is the time. And uh, the details such as the, the location of the pasta. So drag it this way and then put it over there. Yeah, I mean the location means maybe where the program is, is, is being held. And in this is a tutorial, we don't mean the same thing. So please, in case you are making an attempt to call or to attend to the program, <laughs> And this is for tutorial purpose only and there is no program of this coming on on this date yeah it's just for tutorial purpose mm -hmm. so we don't intend to miscommunicate or to do anything bad yes we are just practicing or teaching or learning something that is why we are using the images and the details and then maybe all this thing in a group let me put this side in a group and then control J and call it the down details. Yes, down details, which is made up of the date, time, message, and then location and other things. Yes, so please, in case you are designing it for your clients, make sure you use the information that is being provided by the client. Yes, if in case you are to edit this for your client, make sure you use their information, not any just information like that. Use the client information, yes, very, very paramount, and you must respect that. Yeah, you must respect that. So, just with that one, and I think we are almost through with it. We are almost through with it, just that we need to add some beauty to it. Just drag this and then turn it this way. You can even turn it using the angle here and type 90 and then hold alt scale it up nicely to cover the entire screen that's awesome press enter enter sorry and then use the blending option let's go and test them i think this is okay so click on enter sorry let's test it again i think we use something like a soft light yeah soft light is okay press enter and then come and add layer mask and then press B on the keyboard and then let's drag clear some of the face we want the face to show properly and then maybe this part too and then we hit here as well and I think that is awesome 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 and then when we are done I think we need to do one more thing or oh, it's okay it's okay it's okay you don't just have to make everything complicated so once you are done let's add the camera or photo to it press ctrl alt shift and e to match all this thing in one layer right click it and then convert to smart objects and then go to filter camera raw filter and then let's boost the whole design up let's boost it up good so please as the camera raw photo is loading please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how this channel has helped you so far yes i know this channel has been great to you and if this has been the first time you are meeting or you are coming across this channel please stick around subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell because i have about uh, thousands of videos coming up you don't need to miss even one of it please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me let's take it from there so let's push this side a bit uh let me push it okay and i think i'm beginning to love it the camera reporter is in your present just experiment with it experiment with it and if you are okay you click on okay and then i think this is awesome so let me go to texture let me add some small texture to it clarity and i think clarity this is not bad so let's see if i go to vibrance push it to this side and um if it's okay please let's see before and after and you realize that some changes have been made so if you are okay with this settings and then you click on okay and it's been 
apply to it boom now you see this is the before and after that's why i said there was a great change yes so guys this is how we were able to achieve this awesome church flyer and then as i said i'll add the psd file and then the um, 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 the mockup to it and then for the purpose of the tutorials if you have watched the tutorials yeah if you have watched the tutorial from beginning to this end i believe you have seen the password yes you have seen the password i'm not going to mention it again i'll be sharing it it's it, it's popping up and i believe you have seen and those of you who made a complaint that um, my password are too long my password are this i've heard you so that's why i have revised the password and then please let's take it up from there practice something and then join the social media handles the telegram page is booming you can just visit it and then download the psd file and the mock-up and then the resources file as well thank you very much for sticking around thank you very much for subscribing thank you very much for um, liking i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now